So you gotta try this hair. Not too much I can say. It has a lot of bounce. It doesn't just stay in place. Um, it looks good. Very rich and healthy looking. That's one thing I can say about it. Um, it's great for runny hair. And I'm not saying it as a dip, but it's good. People can tell. A lot of people think it's my hair. I get a lot of compliments. Your hair is gorgeous. Your hair is so gorgeous and beautiful. I'm just like, oh, say here again. <laughs> if I decide to do Remy hair again locally, I would definitely try it. Um, matter of fact, I'm going to keep this when I take it out and reuse it. I'm going to keep it so in my in between times, um, and I just want to put some hair in that I know will hold up. I know it's good. I'm going to keep it. I'm going to put it back in. I think I will um, redo this once I take it off and make it a um, a U-part wig. Just so I can have more versatility for it. To throw it on, you know, instead of sewing it in. Um, and I can still keep my hair braided underneath. So remember that when you sew in, don't hair under. You want to still take care of your hair. Braid it up. Um, I would even do big braids. I know a lot of people do the bigger, fuller braids. The reason I wouldn't do it is because you still want to take care of your hair. If you have a thick braid this thick, right? Is this your part is this wide? You have all this hair in between here to maintain. You take the braid out and your hair from maybe an inch from the root is real tangly and you gotta pull and that's too much for your hair. I still would suggest doing smaller braids. Um, even if it's cornrows, make the part smaller. So it's less hair that's together that has to be dealt with if you're washing it or doing anything. So, so I suggest whether you're wearing your hair in a wig or not to braid your hair in a smaller hair pattern just to keep the health of your hair and sew in. I say two months. If you go in three, four months, you need to be able to take your hair down, wash it, condition it, deep condition it, shampoo it, hot oil it, or go to your local beauty um, shop and get a protein treatment. Um, then put it back in. So you can still use the same bundle of hair in a four month period, let's say, but you take it down and you resell it. Even if you're paying fifty, a hundred and twenty five dollars to get your sewing. That second time, you don't have to buy any more hair. It's still your same batch. So all you're paying is that amount. For two months, break that in two payments. And that's what? If it's a hundred dollars, fifty dollars every two weeks. That's like going to get your hair washed, conditioned, and curled for thirty five or forty dollars. That's gonna last about three days. <laughs> So get good hair. That way you can reuse. I said I have my wavy hair, my curly hair. That's my go-to curly hair. Until another company can show me something different that's better. That's my go-to curly hair. I have it on a half wig. I mean a three-fourths wig. So every time I want to use it, I go right to it. When I want straight and I'm in between, I want something nice and straight that I know is going to, you know, curl up, do right. I'll go back to my um, Q-Tech Critical Remy straight hair. When I'm, yeah, I love the jet black color. Let me just say that. 